Do you have a sleeping booty? Well, here's how to find out, and here's how we're gonna awaken it. So this is Danita with Booty Bands, and today we have a special guest. This is Charles Clay from Encinitas, San Diego, California, and he is a kinesiologist, where he is going to teach us about the mind-body connection on how to awaken our body, and especially our booty. So go ahead, tell us your story. Nailed it. Thank you for and that I, wonderful introduction. <laughs> Yeah, so let's start from the beginning. Um, how I got into this and why I do what I do. Uh, basically, my story, I grew up in Washington State, the great Northwest, and I was always driven to fitness. Um, my very first workout, I felt like Incredible Hulk and I wanted to share that with the world, that feeling. So that led me on a path to my major in kinesiology, minor in health and wellness from Washington State, amazing program. And then I went from there to paradise, literally moved here about a year after to uh, San Diego, California. sunny San Diego, <laughs> living and practicing in Encinitas right now. It is literally paradise. So uh, just living vacation vibration. And in that time, uh, back when I was training, doing hardcore, 300 workouts, like epic testosterone boosting, you know, adrenaline driving workouts. Uh, I basically had to go from that extreme to um, a path of destruction and healing myself through that. So I was up snowboarding at Mammoth on a day with a full on whiteout. It was a blizzard and like you couldn't even see anything in front of you besides a blur of a tree or somebody in the distance and uh, at first it was fun you just get low be ready for anything oh, and I've, I've been snowboarding <laughs> I know how you feel yeah you're like I'm a ninja right I got this <laughs> and uh, everything was cool until I took a jump and I had no idea where the landing is and so I'm in midair and everything just slowed down and my leg went into full extension and as soon as I was impacted, I took the brunt of it right on my low back. S1L5 just smashed and had literally, it felt like a lightning bolt just hit me. I mean, it was like I don't the even most- I wanna know that pain. It was the most intense pain and I couldn't even stand up. I was like, I was in a hunched over position and nobody was around. So I had to figure out a way down the mountain. Uh, phone didn't work, so I was basically, um, had to channel my inner Braveheart and Gladiator to find the strength to sit on my board and go as far as I could down the mountain and then take a rest and then continue this until I made it all the way down. Wow. And that was just the beginning of the journey. So from there I had to see all these doctors and each doctor showed me x-rays, MRIs and explained how important it was to get surgery as soon as possible. So as soon as my painkillers wore off, I said, you know what, that doesn't feel right with my intuition. I'm gonna explore other options and see if I can heal myself naturally. And um, that might have been one of the greatest decisions I ever made because uh, even though it was a painful one, I would get a little bit better from trying all these different modalities and um, you know, chiropractics and acupuncture and you know, things I'd never even heard of, trying anything. And um, nothing seemed to work really well until I could finally surrender. Like I just got into meditation and I learned that even though I could barely crawl to the bathroom because I'm in so much pain, I can just let go, fully surrender, and be open to answers coming in. So while I was in meditation, uh, a friend of mine I hadn't heard from in years um, sent me a text message and said, hey, I heard your back's effed up, check out neurokinetic therapy. And I was like, wow, what is this? And that literally took me on a rabbit hole to studying the work of David Weinstock and taking his brilliant courses and uh, learning to heal myself. In one session of NKT, I was literally 80% better just by turning on muscles that had turned off from the trauma and the impact. And I was blown away because I got off the table and I was like, woo, I can dance, I can move again. Like I felt, I walked in there like Shakira stuck in a <laughs> mid hip dance move, like just a wreck. And I, and I see oh, this, Christina, I love her, she's my angel. She just tuned up 
certain body parts that weren't firing properly and wow. it just connected so many dots for me with my experience in kinesiology that I was blown away and I knew right then I had an epiphany I need to learn this and your and, passion is born oh my gosh it's been amazing so now that was uh, six years ago and now I've been practicing for uh, over four years and helping others um, understand and correct their aches, pains, and injuries so that we can optimize the greatest technology on the planet, the human body. I love it. So, so what do you see are maybe some common problems of people coming to come see you? What do you see as like the, the one thing that is just really hindering them? Yeah, so um, a lot of people are suffering from uh, a booty asleep. <laughs> it's basically like muscles that aren't firing properly mm. and then you got other muscles that are overcompensating so got it um, and what i do is figure out where that relationship is in the body using muscle testing and then once we figure out the root cause of those issues and those problems then i empower people and give them tools little quick tune-ups to um, turn those muscles back on and relax the muscles that are over firing and next thing you know you restore function in the body and then the check engine light pain goes away because the body's happy again and you're restoring full function. So to answer your question, um, you know, someone may come to me with uh, low back pain, knee issues, um, and I'll test, you know, I'll do a quick assessment on them. And when I see, you know, somebody uh, goes to do a squat and their knees go right over their toes, first thing, initiating their movement with this, that's usually a sign that the quads are over firing. Right, and so the glutes. He, he taught me this. <laughs> yeah, so she was she was one of my favorite clients, um, and so in her case, uh, we found that her psoas wasn't firing. Very important hip flexor muscle. So when I would test that, it was really weak. She wasn't getting a good signal. So uh, because her low back was super tight, I went right to uh, a little bit of therapy right here, and then retested the psoas. Next thing you know, it's back online and she's getting a good neural signal there. And you can immediately feel the difference. Like at first, so he pushes on your leg and your leg has no strength whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then he goes over and he just relaxes this one, massage, massages it, go back and do this. And all of a sudden it's like day and night strength. It's so amazing how yeah. you can just feel it immediately. Yeah. And, and uh, you're such a great example because that's one that's really common. Another one is... Um, jaw so think about our nervous system as highways so we're literally we're always connecting you know signals from here to muscle groups to contract and fire and then signals back to the brain to give us feedback about the quality of that movement so a lot of people are walking around without their transverse abdominis firing and that's an internal weight belt that's that's the muscle that helps stabilize your spine and that should be firing milliseconds before you do any movements to make sure that you're stable uh, secure and uh, reduce your risk of injury so when people are you know bending over to get a feather and all of a sudden their back goes out it's not because you're picking up the feather, it's these compensation patterns have usually been going on for a long time. Bef that was just the hair that broke the camel's back. That's the right? sleeping core. Right. Sleeping core. Exactly. So in her case, uh, we tested and her six pack was strong as an ox. Oh yeah. Right? Like the, yeah. the muscles you can see, the superficial muscles, like solid, <laughs> no issues there. But as soon as I had her go deeper and tested the muscles of the intrinsic core, it was like wah, 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 no signal there. So that told me uh, I could tell she was dealing with a lot of stress, bit of a jaw clencher. So I initially had her contract, clench her jaw, and then we retested, boom, those muscles turned back on. So that her body just told me the relationship between the stress here was the roadblock, the neural roadblock, so he couldn't get past the traffic jam right here to get a good signal to those muscles that needed to contract. So by releasing the traffic jam, next thing you know, she gets a good signal to her intrinsic core muscles, reintroduced to some of the most important muscles in your body, and it's like hallelujah, reunited. And how, how great is it to do something right now to help with your future self, you know? To be able to not go to the point where you did in your accident, but to right. be able to, to make sure that the right muscles are working so that way you're a strong, 
body walking around every single right. day, when you go to pick up anything, when you go to pick up a child, when you mm -hmm. go snowboarding, go in your car. There's so many of these crazy accidents that are just so minor by thinking, wow, all, that's all I did and all of a sudden I got an, an injury. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And like my story, from pain to purpose, um, it's really easy to nip these things in the bud just by paying attention to those cues. The, like the little um, aches, pains, and injuries, those are all signals from our body. So you can actually thank your body for pain because it's one of our greatest teachers. Who so. knew? <laughs> Who knew? And it's trying to prevent us from a major breakdown. So it's a protective mechanism. And if we get these things taken care of and understand why, then our body can stay in good alignment, everything's tuned in, tapped in, and turned on, and you get to enjoy the greatest technology on the planet, the human body. That's great. Mm. So I want to show you a special product. Yeah, yeah. I want you to go ahead and just mm. feel it. If you want to try it on, play around with it, mm. tell me your personal thoughts about booty bands. Yes. Cool? Awesome. So we've got purple I like, to level I like one. this color. Oh, you like that color? All right. <laughs> Favorite colors. Okay, you go ahead and open that one. Booty bands. Go ahead and just give it a tug and a pull. And So, I was fortunate enough to get one of these. And I've already been having my clients work with these. And any issues around um, glutes firing, core, um, this has been a great tool for one assessment so you can do you can put it on your ankles you can put it on up to the knees and all the way up to the thighs and focus on real specific movements so you can do glute med make sure these muscles are firing right so then she would tune in and say all right what's the quality of this movement how many muscle fibers am I getting to recruit in those mu in the glute med specifically right and these are all just areas they're all working synergistically and then maybe you'd do a back kick boom getting the larger yep glute max all so then she would check in with the quality of movement for these and if you notice that you're not getting a very good um, signal to these muscles then it might be time for a mind body tune-up um, and spend a little more time on the rest and recovery so that's why this work is really key because you get to find out what it is that's compensating and then I teach you how to correct it and next thing you know you do a quick tune-up before your workout and everything's firing on all cylinders so you're getting way more benefit and gains out of your workouts instead of instead of basically uh, overemphasizing dysfunction in the body. When you say mm -hmm. tune-up, um, you know, I, I wouldn't have known what tune-up means, but now that I have had a assessment with right. you, I know what that means. And the tune-up is not some crazy hard workout. So tell us a little bit about the tune-up and what really that little homework assignment is or whatever that you leave someone with. Great question. So since we already used the example with Danita, so basically her tune-up is because we figured out the jaw was overcompensating for her intrinsic core muscles, she would release the jaw. So she does some deep breathing techniques, uh, expansion breathing, which I teach. And as she releases the tightness and the tension in her jaw, then she gets a better signal to the abs. So we want to reinforce that and improve that neuromuscular efficiency. So that's key because then she knows these are turned on and then I give her some quick, easy exercises to incorporate that into her workout. And then everything's firing on all cylinders. And the other example was the QL was overfiring for her psoas. So before she's doing squats, lunges, or any of the, the heavy work, she's gonna make sure that she releases her QL and then strengthens the psoas right after. And that's reinforcing the correct neural pathway every time she does that. So it's real key, that little five minute tune up right before her workout is gonna make sure that she's reducing her risk of injury and getting way more gains out of her workouts. So, so it's a game had, changer. So if we had a, a sleeping booty mm -hmm. and the booty wasn't firing because you're saying the quads, for example, my knees went over my toes. Yep. So what are some ways that you can fire a glute or how to deal with a sleeping booty and, and awaken that booty? Yeah, great question. So. Um, I always have a theory based on the assessments of what muscles might be overcompensating for what 
and then I use applied kinesiology muscle testing to make sure I'm correct or if I'm if I'm not then we'll look somewhere else to find all the layers so a real basic one is uh, using the example of quads over firing for the glutes then you'd want to release if we find out that's the case like these are the compensators these are the weak muscles then you would spend some time rolling out the quads right get a good release on these muscles and then go right to some hip extensions and squeeze and really fire on those glutes with real basic simple exercises you could do exercises with this is a great tool to make sure that all those muscles are firing and when you feel like you're getting a good signal there and these are staying relaxed, then your squat is gonna be way more symmetrical. Um, you're gonna get way more benefits out of your workout as opposed to reinforcing the dysfunction that was already in the body by throwing out a bunch of weight and then doing squats when you're overcompensating with your quads. Absolutely agree. And how many people do you think at the gym are walking around with <laughs> oh my God, Danita, it is, it is a curse <laughs> and a gift what I do because I'll see, I'll walk in the gym and I see so much dysfunction that it's like, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. So when I see people doing heavy squats with an asymmetrical shift and you got like the Shakira booty going on, it's just like, no. <laughs> I haven't heard that one. Yeah. You made that one up. Yeah, it's, a, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun move. So, yeah, hips so, don't lie. Show them, show them really quick um, to what that is. So if they're looking in the mirror, yeah. if you have a shift where you're popping yep. out one hip or the other, or maybe one that's a, is, is a common one too, is your knee going in? Yeah, right? very common. Yeah, so if you're seeing the knees bowing inward and you're getting asymmetrical shifts in the hips in any of your form and technique, um, if you're adding weight to that movement, that quality of movement, you are literally reinforcing the dysfunction in the body. And, and, and you're weight on top of it. Right, Ooh. so that is uh, time to get a tune up, seriously. And if you notice any of these dysfunctions in your body, they're really quick and easy to fix and correct. And that's what I love about this work is because I'm just empowering people to understand what's, what's wrong, the root issue in the body so that they can correct that on their own. They're empowered to heal themselves. What are they probably correcting it with instead of a tune-up? What, what are they possibly probably doing it to ease the pain or other solutions that they're yeah. probably doing wrong? What do you so a lot of times say uh, somebody's getting low back pain, uh, a lot of times they'll go get a massage or just hammer out right where the pain's at. And if you're just like digging in, just getting right into where the pain's showing up, um, it's chasing pain. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you're, if you're not getting results from that, then it's because you haven't pinpointed where the, the dysfunction is stemming from in the body. So it's a great question. Totally makes sense. Uh, or maybe even possible pain pills too, right? Mm -hmm. People are just covering it up and covering oh, it up. Yeah. That's something I, I saw too. Um, something that I, hey guys, mm -hmm. um, something that I noticed was knee pain because I used to be a high impact Zumba instructor. Mm -hmm. And I started just putting knee braces and knee braces on and just kept covering it up until one day I just had this realization, you know, the epiphany, the, um, the intuition. And you were like, no, I really want to fix this. And going from the inside out. And yep. that's what I really, really love about your work is that you really focus from the inside out. And that truly is healing forever. It's not just something that's just a small time frame. And yeah. I just, I absolutely love your work. I appreciate mm. it, the passion behind it. You are successful. You're going to be even a million trillion times successful than this just because the passion's there and because it is a great service that you provide. Uh, I appreciate that. So tell us um, if somebody were to hit you up, they live in Encinitas, California. Mm -hmm. They say, Charles Clay, I need a tune up. I've got some pain. I'd like some help. Yeah. What, what is something that you can um, offer for them today if they, if they were to call you up? Great question. So yeah, I'm offering a free consultation on the phone so we can dive into what it is that's going on in your body and uh, how I can help. And then um, you can always check out greatestyou.com to connect with me that way. There's some, some great information on there. And then um, I offer for anybody that's watching this, you can get half off your first session. So I'm giving discounts for any of your friends um, because I really want to get you guys optimizing this, this equipment, this technology that we're gifted say with. Say it one more mm. time. I have a lot of listeners that, don't, that didn't hear the website. So say it one more yeah. time and maybe spell it out for us. Greatest U, that's capital U, the letter, 
dot com. Oh, we, see, I would have yeah. missed that. Yeah, capital good, good. U and yeah. Why are you? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be capital. Okay. But, but the, it's, just uh, the U. Greatest U, the letter U, dot com. And um, you know, if you really want to dive into um, neurokinetic therapy, you can check out neurokinetictherapy.com um, and look at the the work of David Weinstock. The guy's brilliant. And um, and then uh, you can always reach out and join me on Facebook. A uh, new group we just started. It's um, Feel Better Now. So feel free to join us on there and uh, give you all kinds of tools, tips, and resources to optimizing these systems, these temples, these epic, epic bodies that we're gifted with so, so we can feel better and enjoy some vacation vibration. I love it. Mm. I would love to give you all three of them. I don't know yes. if you got all three of them before to, yeah. help, to help further your your mission your passion we can collide together and make this world a better place so you're amazing Yay! thank you so I much just, <laughs> you. thank you so much for yeah. your time you're so valuable and i appreciate it my so, pleasure thank yeah. you for being here thanks <laughs> she rocks <laughs>